Okay, my little teacups. Would you like to join me on an adventure? An FTL? Yes. I am your host, the Oval Englishman. Please excuse the fact that our ship is floating in the middle of black space. That's because I uninstalled the mod which caused the uh, more high definition backgrounds which was lagging up the frame rate in the previous episodes. Shall we begin? Let's find out. Other than that, it's still exactly the same mod. Hopefully there will be no balls ups. Ah. You arrive at the distress beacon near a small asteroid belt and find a ship with pirate markings partially crushed between two large rocks. It must have been illegally mining the belt without proper equipment. Beam weapon cut the ship out. You use your beam to make a few precision cuts. Da -de da 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 we have some scrap. Yes! Back to the beacon. Just blackness, okay? Exit to next sector. Hmm. Pirate Haven 77 or Mark App with his medical emergency. Let's go to Pirate Haven 77. Find out as we go. Ooh, uh, we can improve the engines to spend a little fuel and full speed to the next sector, which I believe slows down the rebels slightly. Let's do that. Yes, fleet delayed by one jump. A few Federation-friendly planets still exist in this sector, but they are constantly under attack by pirate raids. This is a dangerous sector. Be careful. You prepare to head into the sector. Mm, socialize with the crew, talk to the Mantis. The Mantis explains that slavery and dependency on weak aliens was one of the reasons for it to leave the swarms. Now it has doubts if the Federation was the stronger alliance to choose. What should you make of this? Absolutely nothing. I don't know what he's going on about. Let's go to here. Yes. As you arrive in the system, you are hailed by a loyalist settlement. Upon learning of your quest, they offer you supplies. Cool. Let's go to the distress beacon. It appears the distress beacon is coming from the surface of a nearby moon. Your sensors are picking up a single life form. Go down and investigate. You find a colony that seems to have been recently attacked. Exploring the devastation, you find a lone survivor. Lone survivor, very good game. Invite him to join your crew. Another mantis! He states that he was a pilot before being stranded. How we happily offers his services for exchange for getting off that rock. We have another mantis. This mantis knows how to pilot. I don't know if I should let the mantis drive or... Ooh, ah, no, the mantis can... The mantis can man the... thing. Cloaking device, that's it. God, oh no, we've got an airplane. Please excuse that audience if you could hear that, sorry. It's a pirate rigger. A small blip appears on your system map. The sector archive lists this ship as a local pirate with a long rap sheet. Unidentified crew, surrender, or you'll be destroyed. They are closing in fast! Well, weren't bloody kidding there, were you? Okay, I'm going to try this episode recording without pausing the game. Uh, because I think that's taking a little bit out of the fun. Fire the artillery laser! Yes! Cloak! Come on, Mantis! I also have the hiccups, I'm sorry! Good repairing, good repairing. We do fine fellows go and chill in the med bay for a bit. Let's turn off the cloaking and turn on the med bay. Back with you in a moment! And we're back! A cruiser do Whoa, that thing is huge! A cruiser docked at this planet's main gateway station. Contacts you on secured channels. A smiling pirate in a ragged uniform appears on screen. Hey, Fedcap, it's you. I've heard you were visiting that great sector. That is so nice of you. Because you're not part of all this petty little rivalries we have going on here. That'll be useful. So, before we even consider opening fire on each other and dancing the dance of death, I'd love to propose a deal. It's super simple. You go out there and murder the hell out of the Purple Tentacles clan lord. In return, you get rich. Just make sure you do not mention to anyone that the Claret Skulls sent you. The Claret Skulls? 
and the Purple Tentacles. That's just some lovely piracy names. She doesn't have very much shield. Maybe we should just take you out instead. The whole pirate crew bursts into laughter. What? <laughs> Look around, Cap. I'm the pirate president of this entire system. I command an entire army of goons that do my bidding. If you think you can come here and start trouble, you'll be in over your head soon. Allow me to demonstrate. Anti-ship batteries all around the planet power up and the house cruisers become live. So you want to dance, do you? I can go stealth too. Mantis! Assault them! I know I said I wasn't going to pause, but this is a major level fight we're having here. I missed! Fuck! My hull laser does nothing! Come on, we can do this! Missile! Shoot! Okay, why do we keep missing? Can somebody please explain this to me? Screw it, we can lose oxygen from the mid bay. Anti ship battery, come on. Oh, really? I just need to hit their weapon systems once. Come on! Fine, let's change targets. We'll try and shoot their shields. Guys, you're killing me here. Really? How do you keep missing? I'm go I'm going I'm going to sit here until they actually hit. Finally! Let's get this show on the ro Oh no. Oh somebody's dead. I've forgotten what their name was. I'm sure I'll give them an R.I.P. in the edit or something. Wait for it, wait for it. Invisible! Yes! Ha! You've proved a sufficient match for the pirates. They're powering up the FTL trying to get away. Oh no, you bloody don't. Oh, yes! Oh, that's a beautiful shot. Let's saw through their oxygen next. Oh, we don't have... Their bloody shields are up! There we go! We're nearly dead, but that felt good. A last hit on the opponent's ammo storage and the... Ammo storage? They stored their ammo in their shield? Compartment? What? A last hit on the opponent's ammo storage and the cruiser combusts into bright flames. While you salvage from the enemies, the wreckage slowly drifts towards the planet until it burns up in the atmosphere. The anti-ship batteries have gone quiet. Many small ships have gathered nearby to witness what is happening. You are about to leave when a small craft contacts you on secured channels. Oh dear, the leader of the Claret Skulls is dead. The Purple Tentacles will surely want to know about this. Maybe you should tell them your story, eh? eh? The pirate blatantly blinks at you several times and transmits some coordinates. Lovely. First, we need to repair the hell out of this ship. Excuse me a moment, audience. Right, now the ship is no longer hemorrhaging oxygen. Oh, a station at this beacon messages you. Greetings, we hate you and will kill you now. Lovely! You know, it's meeting new people like this that just warms my heart. It really does. Alright, how many systemless rooms can we actually hit here? Not that many. No. Okay, let's just saw through that oxygen. There we go. Give him a pot shot in the weapons department as well. Also, someone turn off the bed bay and turn back on the cloaking field. I didn't realize it had been turned off. You receive a hail from the pirate, his voice sounding dark and hollow. They start to attach an o they start to overload an attached FTL core. If I go down, I'll be taking Bollocks. you with me. And we missed. No. 
Come on, come on, come on. There we go. And they've exploded. The station slowly breaks apart, leaving massive chunks of debris and scrap metal. You collect what you can, for the wreckage is so big that it would take more time necessary to gather all the usable parts. Hmm. I'm going to spend the time. Fleet pursuit doubled. Yes, yes, yes. Can I actually survive that? Fuck it, let's find out. We've taken on the rebels before. We have an artillery. Are you kidding me? After completing the jump, your ship's AI warned you of a station with a considerable threat level and improvised FTL. Their weapons are hot and we'll have to engage them to remain in beacon range. Again? Why? What do you people have against me? There we go, try and saw some of their weapons out. I don't know what that tube thing is. I just love the fact that their shields are on fire. You are quite the worthy opponent, but we still have some aces up our sleeve. Execute Plan Delta! Escape pods leave the station, and its FTL signature starts fluctuating. It's going to explode again. What is it with you? Oh, okay, well, that, that did not last long. Your station's generator core detonates, tearing the structure apart. You gather what you can from the wave of scrap. Lovely, more scrap, always nice. Let's keep going! I'm gonna upgrade the power core next time. Uh, what? God, what? What is this, the 12 days of bloody Christmas? We got three pirate outposts and a partridge in a pear tree coming on. You receive a confused comm chatter from a small pirate station. Various individuals scream into the comms. The voice is modified by overlay effects. Strange music plays in the background. You don't understand what they say, but it definitely don't seem friendly. We've come across a pirate nightclub. What? They're just screaming and incoherence? It sounds like a nightclub to me. Okay, wait for that one. Oh, I was going to say wait for their weapon to charge. They don't seem to have any weapons left to charge, except that one on the end. Your scanners register impressive energy spikes. Are they going to try and just set themselves to explode with an FTL core by any chance? Yes. How did I know? Station to... Ooh. No, let's ig ignore it and jump to the next beacon because we need to get this quest done. And I said I was going to upgrade the ship's power, didn't I? Put some more power into the engines. There we go. Try and upgrade our ability to dodge. Yes. Let's also upgrade our cloak ever so slightly. Not sure what good that will actually do. Let's find out, shall we? Oh, I shall socialize with my crew, my human crew. They have nothing to say. Well, that just goes to show me, doesn't it? Hmm. You arrive near the home planet of the Purple Tentacles. Anti-ship batteries line up. You spot the pirate's flagship. Hail and inform them about what you did to the Claret Skull homeworld. The pirate lord is mildly surprised. Ah, uh, uh, is that so? You're supposed to be oh, some kind of assassin, but you decided to kill that lady instead of me? Good for you. The skulls are small time, but I thought they might try to pull something like this. Very well, you shall have some pocket scrap for your subordinates. Now be on your way. Shall we attack them, audience? Well, we already know what the foregone conclusion is. I just did a bunch of upgrading. Let's attack them! And they have a little bit more shielding than I was expecting. Leaving the pirate overlord alive just does not fit within your mindset. You turn and speed towards the purple tentacle flagship with weapons hot. Oh, you silly fool! Anti-ship batteries all across the planet power up when weapons cruisers become li cruisers weapons become live. Please tell me this thing pierces shields. Shield piercing by one. Shit! Right, we're going to use our excess power to power up the. Invisibility drive? The cloak. Why did I go to say invisibility drive? Then we're going to try and poke a hole in their shields. And immediately shoot them in the weapons. Yes! 
What the hell? What are you doing? Get off of my ship. Why is why is Elizabeth shooting at my own ship? What? Stop that! Oh god, there's a hole in it. We're probably going to die here today. Well, it serves me right sort of, doesn't it? Come on, stay cloaked, stay cloaked. Okay, open fire. Oh, why? Why do I always miss? And I've exploded. <sighs> Remind yourself that overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. As said by the Darkest Dungeon narrator, and by God it turns out to be right, doesn't it? <sighs> oh well. Let's, uh, start a new game, I suppose. We'll pick up the people from this starting mod, and then I shall leave you for today, audience. Pardon me. Let's see, um... Let's search around the surrounding system. There are multiple multitude of small asteroids in the area, likely rich in metal and other resources. There is a small settlement nearby, which from the looks of it wouldn't put up much of a fight if you were to repurpose their metal buildings and equipment. <sighs> Let's raise the settlement. Wow, that's a lot of scrap. You take a shuttle and some weapons and tear apart the peaceful settlement of as much scrap as you can hold. But you, as you prepare to jump, a cruiser appears over the horizon of the planet, and a and hails you. A voice comes across the communication band. We'll show you what we do to barbarians like you! He says, You have no idea how a small settlement ended up with noble noble slugs as protectors. You can only imagine that they were paid very well. You see red warning lights as your oxygen system shuts down and the slug cruisers charges to fire weapons. They mean to burn you out. Well then, dear audience, we'll have to find out what happens, won't we? Next time in FDL, faster than light, go the end card, go! Thank you very much for watching, audience. I have been the over-Englishman. This has been FTL Faster Than Light, the Captain's Edition. Thank you for watching, for liking, for subscribing, and for commenting. Please check out some of these beautiful people that I've listed here. Love you all, and farewell!